So number one, no new hardware. I'm in a room that has a Solstice pod like it's often at today at the team table. The pod itself will act as the video encoder and decoder when I need it. Two, no programming. We're going to put the entire experience on a little application that runs on uh, any device you want. So typically it's going to be a tablet. So that tablet can be an iPad or an Android tablet. That ha this thing solves the two big problems about usability. How do I program the experience for this space? And two, how do I use it? So let's take a quick look at this guy. I've got the tablet here, and I've already created a bunch of rooms. I've got you know test room, a learning lab. But if I go into any of these rooms as a designer, I can, because I've logged into this app as the admin for the space, I can go in and edit that room. So I'm going to do that. And you can see it's really a map of some space. So perhaps this, is at, this happens to be one of the people in our beta program that have six projectors against walls with team tables back in, in New England. So if I want to change this layout or modify the layout, the whole goal of this application is for me to, let's say I want to drop a new team in here, I literally just drag a new team into the space. I put the table, maybe we put one in the center. I assign it a color. I give it an IP address. And I hit save. Now the whole goal of this application is for me to design a map an interactive map of the environment that faculty members will know how to use almost intuitively because it's literally a drag and drop video interface. So this is the, you know, there's chairs, tables, I can pick a different table shape, rectangular, circular, or oval. And once I'm happy with how the layout of that room looks, I literally just hit save and then I exit. Okay? So now look at what happens when I use this application. I'm going to log into, actually, let me disconnect out of that room and go into this demo studio that I'm standing in now. I've created a layout that's got a primary display, blue team, orange team, green team, and purple team. That's these screens here for all my students. And before we share content to these, because of course students would be doing that, I'm going to um, show you how it routes. So all I have to do in this user interface is drag and drop. And I just said blue team should go to the green team. So let's look at how that works. So the way I did that is I literally just dragged on this interface and I told that video's feed to go to that screen. I can broadcast by just say I want, let's say I want the primary screen on all the screens. I just tap and hold a particular element and it will broadcast to all the displays and you'll see that they're now receiving the image of the front of the room. We found in research that students really want to know the transition and what they're looking at. So you'll get an extra message at the top that says shared from primary. Primary display says now you're being shared. And if I hit the reset button, that'll stop and those students can get back to work. So let's look at it in context. I have a couple people off screen that will act as the students at a couple of these tables. Keep in mind that the student experience doesn't change. They come into class, they sit at their table, they use Solstice to share lots of content, control that content layout, and as they get underway, my role is to wander the space and say, you know what, looks like Eric's team over there on the purple table is getting really underway. Let's look at that on all screens. So I'm gonna press and hold the purple display, and now I've got live video fed across the entire space all through the existing uh, network, okay? So now I can see, hey, Eric, that looks like a 4K video. Why don't you pull that up in full screen so we can look at how it looks like? Everything he does for controlling, uh, adding content, inking on a screen, that all will be broadcast through Solstice to the other screens. And we can see here already the performance is frame rate speed at 4K feeds. So if I um, turn that off, it's also in the terminology of uh, you know, the AV world, it's also a matrix switch. I don't have to just broadcast or go point to point. I can send any table to any other. Why don't, John, why don't you go ahead and join the orange team and get some content on that guy? And what I'm going to do is say, oh, green team, you guys seem confused. Let's get some of that content from the orange team over here. They're doing a great job. Why don't you guys look at that and work together for a little while as a team? And so if he moves content or does anything in that screen, of course, it's across both. And at the same time, I could take the purple team and throw it over to the blue. And that's how you control a space. It's incredibly intuitive once the room's designed. So two problems are being solved. It's design a space so that it looks like the space you're in and literally drag and drop between team blocks. Okay? Now, we've already started to build a roadmap for this thing. It'll launch fairly, you know, fairly soon, but it will also have a roadmap that's quite aggressive of its own. Uh, one of the first lessons we learned 
is that engaging students at tables to the front of the room is a challenge in a really successful active learning environment. So if I've got, you know, the orange team is super busy, but maybe they're doing all the wrong thing because I set up the problem wrong, I want to bring their eyes back to the front. So how can we help that? We've added a little shortcut in the app. If you look across the bottom of the application, we have built-in shortcuts that are actually customizable by each faculty member. So a faculty member here has an eyes up front button, and when I tap it, it will turn on the eyes up front message to every table and dim their content. And then once I'm done saying, you know, hey guys, let's make sure that we don't forget, you know, problem X, get back to work, I turn it back off, and everything they were doing is restored, and they can go back to using Solstice again.